Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Weefies, and today we're back for another video. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to build a redstone randomizer. A randomizer can be used for many different things, and I'm gonna do a video on a creation that uses it somewhat soon. And that creation is really cool, and be sure to check that out when it comes out. But a randomizer is where you flick a, a button. Um, it will give you one of two outputs, and you can have it branch off into another one, another randomizer, and so you can have many different possible outputs for whatever your redstone contraption may be. But to build one randomizer, you will need one sticky piston, one block of your 20, uh, some number of blocks of choice, a dropper, a hopper, a button, a comparator, four redstone repeaters, and three redstone dust. So first, you're gonna want to start off placing your dropper and right on top of it a hopper and inside that an item of your choice next you also want to get sorry i didn't mention this right at the beginning you also want a non-stackable item i'll take a water bucket for this purposes so you want a non-stackable item and a stackable item so a block of iron and water bucket so here you want to be our button and right here on this end you want to put your comparator now you want to get your three blocks, redstone dust like here, right here, and now two repeaters. This one sets a no ticks, and this one sets a two ticks. You want a block here, sticky piston, with a block on its face right there. And now you want to place right here a repeater and another repeater. So there it is, guys. That was pretty cool. I mean, that was pretty fast, but I think that, I mean, that's the design for a randomizer, and I can show you guys and explain to you how it works. And let me use the redstone lamps. Uh, you don't need this. I'm just demonstrating. So, if we flick this button, you can see that that one turns on. Now that one turns on. That one turns on. As you can see, it's totally random. Now, how does this actually work? This is a feature that I'm not really sure why it's here, but it's definitely useful. When a hopper... Okay, so first we want that... Okay, so before I get to that, this hopper, when there's an item in this... When, when the dropper sends an item to this hopper, because the button powers it, the hopper, it goes into the hopper for like one second and then comes right back. So the um, comparator picks that up and sends a one tick pulse, or well, somewhat longer than a one tick pulse. But why is it why is it random? Well, because water bucket, a non-stackable item, gives a pulse of three, I believe. I, it gives at least three, and a stackable item only gives a signal strength. Okay, not pulse, but signal strength of one. So stack a, a non-stackable item gives like three. And a stackable item gives you a signal strength of 1. Let's say if we press this button, the iron block were to come out. The redstone would only reach here, so that redstone lamp would be powered. But, because of 2 ticks, and note, and only 1 tick, if we were to get the water bucket, the signal would go all the way over here, and this one would extend, and this piston would extend, so that this can't be powered, this can't power that repeater, and this one would be powered. So, you can see, I can show it in action to you guys. Let's say we can break and just break this right there and get ourselves a water bucket. You guys can see the signal strength reaches all the way to here. And we take it out and you put a non stack of item. The signal strength only reaches up to here. And that's it, guys. So if you enjoy this so short video, make sure to leave a like, share it. That would really mean a lot. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tiny video and peace out. I'll see you guys next time.